Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day. I have a practice tip to share with you today. Now, one of the biggest challenges I see people have is the sheer overwhelming amount of information out there, right? There are so many lessons, scales, songs, modes, techniques, videos, bits of music theory, uh, that we can easily find ourselves drowning in all of it. And what often ends up happening is we end up just skimming the surface of a whole bunch of different things. And it reminds me of like reading the first sentence of a hundred different books. And after all that time spent, we end up not really knowing anything about any of them. And we feel like we've gotten nowhere, right? It's anxiety inducing, just thinking about it, right? <laughs> so we can't control how much information is out there or how available it is. That's the world we're in, but we do control how much of it we consume and what we do with it, okay? So my lesson today is a little bit more like a mental hack, if you will. Um, we're gonna take one thing, one thing, and we're gonna just pretend that this is the only thing that there is, okay? So, what I mean is we're going to get in the headspace of like, imagine a kid that finds a stick somewhere, right? And that kid will play with it for a while. And one day it's a baseball bat and the next day it's a spear and then it's a sword. And then it's, you know, they, you make up a game where you got to hit the stick, hit a rock with the stick or something, right? When you have only one thing to play with, it is amazing how creative you will be and how many possibilities you will discover within that one thing, okay? Whereas if you give that kid 10,000 toys to play with, they may probably have never have discovered all those possibilities within this one stick that was just lying over there, right? And by extension, may not have discovered the possibilities within themselves, you know, to be that creative and to be that resourceful. Do you know what I mean? So let's do an example. I'm going to take C major scale, trusty old C major scale. And I'm not talking about C major scale in multiple octaves. I'm talking about one octave. And I'm not even talking about one octave all over the neck. I'm talking about one octave in one position, right? So this is what I mean. I'm taking one thing, C major scale, and I'm just going to pretend that those are the only notes I can play. That's the entirety of music, right? So immediately, everything else is off the table, right? It starts to feel like peace already, right? Because now it feels achievable. I can focus on this. Only seven notes. Eight if we count the two Cs. It's only seven notes. This is achievable. I can deal with this, right? I can play it. I can listen to it. I can learn this, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to just spend some time with it, okay? We're going to approach it with a sense of curiosity, wonder, mystery. It's going to be like a treasure hunt. Like, these are our notes. This is all we're allowed to do. What can you find? Okay? So we're going to play it. And remember, a lot of guitar playing and practicing is, is not just moving your fingers around, right? It's your ear that we're practicing as well. So we're going to listen to this scale too. What does that note sound like? What about that one? What about side by side? What about this one? How is that different from this one? Or these two? What if I went from these two to those two? What does that sound like? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Have an opinion! Right? You, you're developing your own musicality and your own taste basically is just you having an opinion of what you want to hear. Right? So this is 
what we're learning. You're practicing not just moving your fingers in this format. You're learning, we're learning, what does this even sound like? What is C major? What does it feel like? This is music. What does it feel like? What does it sound like? What melodies can we make out of this? What harmony can we find? What's hidden in here that we can uncover, right? It should be fun. Okay? So it's a simple little exercise, um, but it is actually very powerful. Okay? So anytime I'm doing any lesson, I try to make it as practical as possible. So I, uh, I took my own advice and I took this one octave, one position of C major and I gave myself the challenge of I'm going to write music only using this. I'm not allowed to use anything else and to see what I would do. Okay. And I'm going to play it for you. It goes like this. So there you go. Now I can almost guarantee that if I wasn't sitting down to specifically do this exercise, there's no way I would have written that exact melody and that exact music, right? Limitations, so powerful, right? Means we can spend time with this, internalize it, get to know it a little bit. So instead of it being just another random piece of information floating around out there, or just a it's kind of random like a uh, sequence of fingers it's now a sound and a feeling and melody and harmony and those two notes together sound different than those two notes right we get to know what these notes this group of notes is capable of and by extension what it's not capable of like what no matter how hard i try can I not find in this group of notes, right? What is what is C major? How can I use it, right? As a musician, as a songwriter. Like, this note doesn't feel the same as this note. Listen, if we try a little thing, like if we go... and finish on that note, it sounds and feels like that. But if I went... This note, does it sound the same? Nope. Does it feel the same? No. Right? It's not just random frets. It's this note has this sound and this feeling. This note has another sound and another feeling. And when you get to know it, you can put that stuff together as you wish. And you can express yourself and your ideas, and your taste, and your musicality, and all of that stuff, right? And here's the other thing when it comes to more guitar stuff, is that everything we did here, 
is exactly the same here. I can just copy and paste here too. And here. So I could play that song here, you know. And I don't have to change anything. It's the same stuff. And then, even when we are learning different positions and different octaves, like maybe, you know, three note per string that everyone loves, even though it's a new position on the guitar, that, so that's something that we have to learn, the sound is familiar because we've spent time with it. Right? The sound, we're familiar with these notes. Right, so it's, we're not learning a whole new thing from scratch. You get what I mean? Um, let's try, see if I can do it. You can still play it there. across different octaves, um, but it's the same sound, the same intervals and same relationships between it, right? So we're getting to know it better because we spent time with it. That is my lesson and public service announcement for the day. Limitations. Try it out if you haven't already. I'll drop a link to that transcription to that song if you want to mess around with it. And uh, let me know what you thought of this lesson and let me know what kind of other things you'd like me to talk about. All right, have a great day. Take care.